The following is a presentation of TFNN. Trade what you see with Larry Pesavento. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. Now, Larry Pesavento. Okay, folks, uh, I've been asked to uh, compare what I do with uh, Elliott Wave. Uh, it's going to be tough because I don't do anything like what they do, but let's just go through what I know. 1968, I moved to Westlake Village from Indianapolis working for Lilly. And uh, in 1970, I met um, the uh, owner of the Investment Center bookstore, Don Mack. Uh, his mother his mother was a diabetic, and I worked for Lilly, so I was able to get her a lifetime supply of insulin without any charge. And so he befriended me and told me this library he could use. I could use it any way I wanted. And I say I don't know enough about it. To, what's the best book here? And he gave me this 400-page uh, typewritten, not typewritten, but uh, it was in a binder. This was the Gartley book, folks. I made a copy of it, and... Uh, but remember, Mr. He had passed away a couple of years before that, so uh, there was no, not any problem with that. Later on, we were able to buy the rights to that uh, for the uh, for the uh, Traders Press. Anyway, what happened was I had that A B C D pattern in there. In 1970, I met John Hill. Okay, and uh, that was the same year I got the Gartley book, but I didn't know anything about it. But when I started studying with John, he showed me A, B, C, D. Well, in Westlake Village, there was a man named Charles Lindsay. He was a Ph.D. from in mathematics at USC. He and uh, Larry Williams got together and did the Trident method, which was basically word for word right out of the Gartley book. Instead of calling it A, B, C, D, it was called P1, P2, P3, P4. And they sold it to, uh, I think, well, just a lot of people, uh, millions of dollars that they made on it. And then there was a falling out between the two of them, and the, the methodology sort of fell by this wayside. The Gartley book was also uh, done by a man named Franklin Tubbs in the 1950s. And Gartley didn't even bother to sue the guy because he thought that it was giving some good information. To, it was called the Tubbs Stock Trading Method. He didn't sell very many. But that was uh, pretty much it. So I started getting into it real heavily, especially in 1974. You all know the reason for that. But let me show you what I think. And the reason why I'm doing this today, is this is a perfect day for those of you that think Fibonacci and some of this stuff that we deal with here is uh, full of baloney. But let's just take a look at it. Simplicity beats complexity. That's what everything I try to do is about. Remember, Burton Malkey had written a book called A Random Walk Down Wall Street. That book stood as the Bible that under any circumstances, chart reading must share a pedestal with alchemy. That stood that way until April the 17th of 2000 when a book was written. Or first of all, the paper came out by Andrew Lowe, Maminsky, and Wang about the Foundation for Study for Algorithmic Statistical Influence and Empirical Implications. Basically, what it said was that the market was no longer random, that it was possible that, that the, the randomness was there, but within the chaos were non-random patterns that repeated over and over again. And all you had to do was to find these optimal patterns with the optimal shape get an idea of where the stock market would go. Well, Burton Malkey wrote a book. He was the father of fractal analysis, and he's telling us that all markets are fractal. In other words, they start out with a heartbeat, and as long as you have that seed pattern, you're going to be able to understand, within limits, of course, of what this market, any market, is going to do. So here's what he looked at. He called it the lightning bolt. That's the same thing that uh, Gartley showed it in his book. It's exactly right out of Gartley's book. There was an ABCD up and an ABCD down, and that's what he called as the seed. Once you had that seed, you had something working for you. On page 249 of Gartley's book, here's what it looked like. There's ABCD, ABCD to the upside, ABCD to the downside. What Charles Lindsay did with his trident was he called it one a instead of A was P1, P2 
P2, P3, P4, okay? That's what he was basically looking at. You take away the patterns, they form a larger building block. What I did was I started adding these ratios in 19, uh, well, I knew 618 and 1.618, and of course 302, which I didn't use until three years ago, uh, and I, I understood 1.27, but I did not understand 786. Bryce Gilmore taught me that all these are interrelated to the Fibonacci sequence. So those are the four ratios that I use when I'm looking at these markets. Here's the most active market in the world. This is the euros. You can see over a 10-day period, it goes down. You can see you're in a downtrend because you have lower tops, lower bottoms. All we do is we put our ratios on from, from significant highs and lows. You see significant high, significant high, significant high, significant high. That, that determines a downtrend. See, the downtrend is not a flat line. It's a, a line that's jagged based on these bump bumps. Sometimes it hit exactly, but not exactly. Nothing is exact. I'm just saying... Wait till you see what's happened today. So you're saying, okay, you showed me all this stuff. This is the euro chart on a daily going back 10 months, okay? Look at this. You put these in, you can see all of the patterns that are in here. But there are patterns in here that you don't even see until you practice it. Because look what happens. You see the large ABCD that's in here? Folks, this is why we did that Floor Traders Handbook, to prove to you that these patterns are there all the time in all the markets. Do they work all the time? No, but they work better than 62% of the time. Today is one of those days. Now, what we're going to be looking at here, there's a few examples that are in here, just showing you different examples that are in here. This, was, uh, this comes with a 90-minute video explaining where these patterns come from and how their ratios you know, get together. But that's really what you're looking at. That's also based on the standard deviations, which are part of the, pro of the pricing model. All that's how you get the standard deviations of, you know, some of the things that we're, that we're looking for. You can see how the standard deviations hit. We showed it yesterday in the NASDAQ. So anyway, that's the main thing that I wanted to go over to this year because what we need to do now is to get down to the real market. And I'll get this up here. And we'll start out here. I think we'll start out here uh, with, the, uh, with the Dow Jones. You'll see here. This is the Dow Jones today, folks. Okay, here. Here is the A, B, C, D this morning. It measured to 37,536. The low was 37,512. Then it rallied exactly to the 61% retracement of the high that it made back on January 2nd to the exact took, tick. And now you're coming down and you'll see that it's just about uh, I think it just broke the 786. I, I heard my limit minder go off. Yes, it just did. And there it did. It, there's now it's sitting right at the 78% level. Okay, you know that's one. Okay, now second one we're going to well, first. I gotta get the old timing clock on the wall here, up here, so that I can see. Ah, oh, there we go. Only got a few seconds left on this one. And then, sorry, we'll take a little break here, and I want to continue this because I think you'll enjoy the sequence of what we're looking at here. So stay with us. Eight seven seven nine two seven six six four eight. Steve Rhodes started his trading career as a student almost 20 years ago, and the student has now become the master. Steve won the prestigious Timer of the Year Award in 2018 and barely missed that mark again in 2019, finishing at number two for the year. An amazing accomplishment. Steve Rhodes is committed to sharing his techniques and knowledge with anyone who wants to learn, and he shares his vast amount of trading knowledge every day in his Mastering Probability newsletter. Steve's award-winning newsletter, Mastering Probability, is delivered every trading day with updates throughout the afternoon. Sign up for Steve's market newsletter, Mastering Probability, and you'll receive access to seven of Steve's educational webinars absolutely free. At TFNN, all our newsletters come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have absolutely nothing to worry about. Visit TFNN.com and try Mastering Probability 30 days risk-free today. TFNN, education investors. Are you ready to take your trading to the next level? 
Introducing Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, your key to successful active trading. Tom O'Brien, renowned for his expertise in the financial markets, has designed Market Insights to be your daily guide to profitable trades. Tom publishes his daily Market Insights newsletter every market day before the market open, along with updates when warranted. Stay ahead of the game with Tom's real-time analysis and trade recommendations delivered straight to your inbox. Whether you're a seasoned trader or just starting out, Market Insights provides the edge you need to navigate the markets with confidence. Ready to join the ranks of successful traders? Head over to TFNN.com and subscribe to Market Insights today. Don't miss out on this opportunity to supercharge your trading results. Market Insights comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee for all new subscribers, so you have nothing to risk. Don't miss out on this opportunity to revolutionize your trading game. Head over to TFNN.com right now to join the thousands of traders who have already experienced the power of Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, firsthand. TFNN, educating investors. TFNN has just launched their new trading room, The Tiger's Den. Hosted at Discord, TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. And now they are expanding their reach with The Tiger's Den. Available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. In The Tiger's Den, you can look over the shoulders of Tom O'Brien and the other TFNN hosts while they analyze charts during their live Tiger TV programs and join an interactive trading community with hundreds of members exchanging ideas. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day, even at night and on the weekends. The Tigers Den at Discord is accessible on mobile or tablets as well, so it's always at your reach. To sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders, just visit the front page of TFM. NN.com. Call now. Toll free at 1 877 927 6648. Internationally at 727 873 7618. Okay, folks, I'm going to point out that there you can see. Uh, from the low that we made back here, which our big low was right there. That was our big last big ABCD that we had from that level. If you take that low, which I showed you in the s and I'm going to show it to you again. We went to the exact 50% retracement just a little bit below it today in the S&P. Uh, this is the cash now, okay? So we, we've completed that. Now, all I want to do now is I, you can see if we go to this up, we go down just a little bit lower. I'm going to get that last big low that we had right here because this is the one that really moved things higher. I'm going to just show you the relationship of where we are because this is an important spot. You'll see we're setting at the uh, uh, well, that doesn't draw it right. Sorry, folks. Let me just get this in. I've got to go to an hourly chart, a four hour to get to make sure I can see it really clearly because it was, to me, very, very clear. From the last low that we had right back here, there's that big low. Today's low, if you just go from your low up to your high, you'll see that we went right between the 50% and the, 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 the 618. We, we did do that. And then you have to take that one. You could take this one too, but this is the really big one right here, December 7th. If you use the one a little bit back, I'm not going to worry about that because what I want to show you about is what's happened since that time. If you remember, I've been saying here for the last three weeks, wait for this big break to occur, okay, and then sell the first 382 retracement, okay? If you come down and take a look at that, that 382 retracement came in the cash here at 469. In the S&P, it came in at, um, let me get this up here so you'll be able to see it. There it is right there at uh, 4755. The high was 4760. So far, we just backed off a little bit. But that's really super, super important. Because if we go below here, and remember, we had this huge rally, folks, of 60 handles. Okay, 60 handles up. And then look what we've given back so much of it. We're, we're at the 61% retracement now. So closing below here is not going to be a very good sign. So that's why this is so very, very important. Now, let's take a quick look at a couple others that we have here because we've got Stan Harley coming up, and I want to be able to uh, give Stan all the help he can get. Let's take a look here at the uh, gold market. All right, this is a real interesting one now. We're going to go down, and we're going to look at a four-hour chart. 
And this will just be very interesting to you, I'm sure, because you'll be able to see that the low that we made today and the low that we made today, you think these Fibonacci numbers are just a figment as everybody's imagination? There's the low right there, folks. Exactly 618 to the exact tick, just like we did at wheat yesterday. Exactly the same thing. We did it in nice ABCD format. And where did we rally? We rallied. We went through the 382. I said if we get above that, we'll probably get to here. Went up $40. We had a $40 rally, stopping $1 short of the 61% retracement. And now it's backed off. Folks, if you're asking me if I got all of that and all these markets, no, but I got nice little pieces. And that's what uh, I try to do because I can't get it all. But anyway, that's why we're so critical here today. This is why. And remember, we're coming into January 8th, which is Elvis's birthday, of course. But that'll be a big astro. Excuse me. It's, it's going to be a big cycle date. And we will have Norm Winsky as our guest to talk to us about that particular phenomenon. So uh, we're just going to be watching here because if we start going below these numbers, both in the S&P and then in also in the Dow Jones and any of these other numbers. And also, if you remember the, the, the bond trade that we were looking at here on Sunday night to sell that 382 retracement that was right there. OK, there's the 382 retracement. This one, this one to me was the most interesting of all because this is such a huge market, folks. Even the Fed doesn't screw around with this one very much. But there was your 382 off of the high from the 28th of December. Just exactly what we wanted to see. Now, what we want to do, if this is correct, you can see the numbers down here at 618 and 1.618. I'll show you the 618. This is on the daily. This is on the intraday. And if you'll just see that, you'll see from you when you draw the ABCD pattern in, you're not measuring, you're not calling it anything other than what it is, folks, an ABCD pattern. That's all it is. The low was supposed to be 121.07, and the low was 121.09. Uh, it missed it by two ticks. So this doesn't work. We'll have to try something new. But what we will do is we'll go down to a four-hour chart, and you're going to see something that will just be very, very interesting to you if you like the old Fibonacci numbers. If you go to the big low that we had way back here, on December the 10th, and you draw your high, look at today's low, folks. Would that be an interesting spot? It was measured to 121.06. The ABCD measured to 121.07, and the low was 121.09. So again, that didn't work. So we're going to have to tell Mr. Burton Malkiel that he is full of potato salad and some other things, but I don't think we'll do that because that's pretty doggone accurate, folks, if you want to know. Uh, if you want to know the truth. Now, not all markets acted that way. Let me show you why it's important. The crude oil is certainly a financial market because we use it everywhere in everything, okay? But look at this. Crude oil didn't do anything during this time. He just went up and bounced around here to $1 range. It wasn't crazy that like we've seen in the S&P and all the other stuff. No, no, no. Not anywhere near like that. So that is, uh, you know, I said in the video that I sent out, we were looking at this little pattern here. I said, if we get anywhere up in here, we're going to get up into this area here. Why is this area important? Let's just clean it up and I'll show you why. Go from your last high to this high right here. And look where you are. You're halfway between both of these. And we're still setting at this number. We took out these highs. We're still setting basically at 73.54. Now, my assumption is that we're going to probably look at something like this as an ABCD to the upside. But that's all I'm looking at. Here was the big sell signal in the crude oil. This was on Christmas Eve, if you remember, or day after Christmas. There it was right there. You had a 1.618. Remember, this is an hourly chart, so you had a a 1.618, a 127, an ABCD. Wow, can't ask for anything more than that. Then this looks like the old butterfly pattern, which in fact is what it is. Okay, now we've got just a minute to go. I wanted to carry one other thing, and the hogs are still going up. I'm not going to mention that. And I uh, think the others is, uh, oh, one that's a real interesting one. Pay attention to this one, folks, because we are back up to this level again. Had a big breakdown. This is our natural uh, natural gas. Remember, we have a long-term daily. Let's get the daily up here, and you'll see where we are. See, we're up in this area right now, so we have cleaned this out. Today, this was the sell-off last night. That was a sell-off off of this, and we 
took this low out by just one tick, we know that that's a big worry sign if you're going to be short. And now we've started to go up. So that tells us that we're probably getting ready to move up into this area here of 296. We're not very far away. So keep a close eye on it. This is what was important. You came all the way down. You dropped. That's a $1,000 drop in natural gas, folks. So that's not a small amount. Anyway, we're going to have Stan Harley as our guest uh, coming up here in just a few minutes. So live every day in an attitude of gratitude and may God bless. And I hope I got the old uh, clock on the wall right, which I do. And we'll be right back. Gold Report. As a precious metal, gold is still king. It continues to hold the most effective safe haven and hedging properties across the global major trading hubs of the London OTC market, the U.S. futures market, and the Shanghai Gold Exchange. The Gold Report. Tom O'Brien publishes his weekly Gold Report every Monday morning for subscribers, consisting of coverage of the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, bonds, the South African Rand, as well as 25 different mining equities with specific buy-sell recommendations. The Gold Report. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Subscribe to Tom O'Brien's Gold Report newsletter now at tfnn.com. Currencies, commodities, and bond markets are as important as ever right now with how they're driving the volatility in equity markets across the globe, which is why it's a great time to try out Teddy Kegstat's Tiger Forex Report. Teddy Kegstat breaks down the Forex markets every Monday using his 30-plus years of experience as a trading veteran of futures, Forex, stocks, and options. Teddy releases his weekly Tiger Forex Report every Monday morning with coverage of all the major currency pairs, including the dollar index, the euro dollar, pound dollar, dollar Swiss, dollar yen as well as many more and he also has weekly coverage of the crude oil market and the 30-year t-bonds as they both influence forex markets tremendously when you sign up for the tiger forex report you also gain instant access to teddy's 60-minute webinar archive he just hosted forex strategies and fundamentals what is behind the tiger forex report for all the details and to start your 30-day tiger forex report subscription today visit the front page of tfnn.com tfnn educating investors Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at tfnn.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com. Educating investors. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Okay, we're on the, on the line here with our good friend, Stan Harley. Stan, how are you doing today, my friend? Hello. Hello, Hello Larry. Larry. Hello, Stan. Happy New Year to you, my friend. Thanks for joining us today. Hello, Larry. How are you doing? I'm good. Can you hear me? Hopefully, you I can, can hear you loud and I can hear you okay. loud and clear. Well, I don't, don't want to hold the horses back. So show us what you're looking at, folks. You've been, or, uh, Stan, because you've been spot on. Tell us what you're looking at right here, right now, if you don't mind. 
Right here, right now. Okay, well, <laughs> shut the front door and raise the rent. You got it, brother. <laughs> uh, let's just back up a little bit, kind of big, big picture here. Um, let's first of all look at the monthly data of the stock market. Um, this is something that I've shared with the with the viewers a number of times in the past, and uh, it's it's my view based on the Fibonacci relationships and the time cycles going back oh 100 years, 1929, and actually further back than that, back to 1602. But uh, for the last 125 years or so, this chart on the screen flex it down industrials, and we are in the zone. I want to say we are in the zone. What I think is going to be a significant market top. That's that's kind of kind of my backdrop. And now the uh, the challenge is, of course, to to see. Well, uh, are we there yet, or do we have a little bit further to go? Um, and that's something that, uh, of course, uh, I've got under study right now. Um, okay. Let's take a look at the uh, weekly data. Here is a chart that. Uh, I've highlighted with you and the viewers on a number of occasions. This is a chart of the New York Composite Index. And uh, a cycle spanning approximately 24 months sprang from the January 2016 lows. And you can see over there on the far left of the screen, the, the New York Composite bottomed in January of 2016. The Dow and the S&P actually bottomed in, in, uh, in February. But spinning out from that low has been a cycle that has averaged 24 months. <clears throat> and uh, should the pattern continue without any expansion or contraction, it actually pointed to mid-January for its next recurrence. And I've talked about that a lot. Um, and I said that was something I was going to be watching very carefully. Well, as we've got into the January time frame, uh, I look at just a whole bunch of uh, technical parameters, uh, not only the cycles, not only the time counts, but I look at indicators that track price velocity and price range. And in my judgment, uh, the, the structure of the indicators that track price range and price velocity are just not exhibiting the pattern that would be uh, evincing a, a major top at the present time frame. Uh, so I went back, I looked at my 24 month cycle, kind of scratched my head, and, uh, and I found that if I applied a Fibonacci 0.382 ratio in the analysis, by golly, it pointed to a low in, uh, in mid-October of last year. Um, the ideal calculations uh, pointed to October 17th with a standard deviation of uh, 3.5 trading days. And lo and behold, we had a, uh, we had a low on October the 13th. So uh, that's what happened here. This, expand, this, this cycle uh, contracted to 0.382. And uh, we'll see how it develops in the, in the future. Okay. Well, that's a pretty big prediction, my friend. So please keep on coming. Keep on coming. Um, got it. Another cycle that I've tracked uh, for a long, long time that I've shared with you and the viewers. This is the dominant cycle on the weekly charts. And uh, the, the dominant cycle, I, I call it the primary weekly cycle. It contracts and expands, like all market cycles, but dominantly spans uh, right at 34 weeks, which is equivalent to eight months. Both of those numbers... Fibonacci folks uh, recognize those numbers as well. Uh, the last occurrence in this cycle marked the low that we saw in, uh, in uh, October, recent October, just a couple of months ago on the 27th. And uh, assuming no inordinate contraction or expansion in this cycle, it's next due in the vicinity of July 5th, later this year. So before we get to a low, we got obviously we have to have a high. And... Uh, what I think uh, is ongoing right now is uh, we're undergoing some period of consolidation. And I have a pretty good idea where I think this thing might end. And I was gonna, sh gonna share that with you as well. We're ready. Let's, let's take a look at the daily data. Um, another cycle that uh, you and I have talked about on the air here many times. This is the dominant cycle right now on the daily charts. And uh, Larry, uh, every 53 trading days, plus or minus, and the cycle expanded by 1.5 a couple of times. Uh, but for the most part, uh, it's, it's coming in right at 53 trading days. And uh, it's due again here very, very shortly. Um, and I think it's gonna make its mark and I think we're gonna make a low here in a few days. And uh, out of this low, I think this market is gonna rocket higher. 
Uh, but between now and uh, and a few more days from now, um, we got some chop shop to uh, to undergo. And nothing unusual it has nothing to do with the Fed. It has nothing to do with <laughs> falling stars from heaven. It's just that your garden variety 53 trading day cycle low. Uh, in this uh, next chart, what I've done here is I've dumped all the days uh, from the prior chart into a spreadsheet. I've shown previously the data with the S&P 500. The Dow and the S&P have been making their lows uh, separated by just a few days. So it gives a slightly different result depending on whether I use S&P data or use Dow data. Um, if I use in data from the Dow Industrials, which is what the prior chart was, I put in all the, the low points that I highlighted with that purple line, with those purple lines, uh, turn the grinder, turn the crank, and the computer says uh, we've got a cycle that spans 53 trading days. You see it right here, 53.199. I wouldn't pay too much attention to the decimal points, but about 53 trading days. That's what we should pay attention to. Standard deviation on that is a very low three trading days. And uh, the analysis points to the October, or October, listen to me, uh, January 19th uh, time period. And uh, here we are on January the 5th. So we've got a few more days of uh, chop shop into this cycle low. The S&P data says it's gonna come a little earlier than that. And I think it probably may, may occur slightly to the left of the 19th, but right in that time frame, I'm, uh, I'm the kind of guy that uh, be be looking for this, and uh, I'll be uh, how should I say be on this like a cheap suit. Well, not only that, but you're going to be on our show on the 16th, so we want to be early on this. So we'll have you on All the right 16th here. of January. <laughs> I, I penciled it in. That's been penciled in for three and a half months, Dan. That's that date that you picked. So you're pretty close here. Well, if That's we get, very... if we get it within uh, heck within three trading days, which is one standard deviation. And, and by the way, let me just let me just uh, uh, point this out. For folks who understand statistical analysis and standard deviation, and that's what wrangles me about a lot of analysts that talk about cycles and things like that. They'll put a date out there in the future, but they, they don't apply any mathematical rigor or mathematical science to it. If you're analyzing something like turning points, you've got to understand standard deviation. That's an imperative. Without yes. that, it's meaningless. It certainly do. Stay with us, folks. Stan Harley, great stuff. Very interesting. We'll be right back. Stan Harley, Harley Stock Market Letter. We'll be right back. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Are you ready to take your trading to the next level? Introducing Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, your key to successful active trading. Tom O'Brien, renowned for his expertise in the financial markets, has designed Market Insights to be your daily guide to profitable trades. Tom publishes his daily Market Insights newsletter every market day before the market open, along with updates when warranted. Stay ahead of the game with Tom's real-time analysis and trade recommendations delivered straight to your inbox. Whether you're a seasoned trader or just starting out, Market Insights provides the edge you need to navigate the markets with confidence. Ready to join the ranks of successful traders? Head over to TFNN.com and subscribe to Market Insights today. Don't miss out on this opportunity to supercharge your trading results. Market Insights comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee for all new subscribers, so you have nothing to risk. 
Don't miss out on this opportunity to revolutionize your trading game. Head over to TFNN.com right now to join the thousands of traders who have already experienced the power of Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, firsthand. TFNN, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. Okay, we're back, folks, speaking with Stan Harley, the Harley Stock Market Letter. Stan, please continue. Absolutely. I, something I just want to emphasize for people who are new to cycles, uh, as a technician, and you, you know, as you well know, my, um, the crux of my analysis is all about market cycles. I think you and I and those who trade and analyze, um, I think it's an imperative to understand market cycles and how they work. But something that new folks aren't often aware of is cycles are not a precise clock, okay? They don't just go bingity bangity boomity boom, they kind of do this. And so what you and I, all of us as analysts have to do is we have to look at the data and see if there is an expansion or contraction going on in the cycle and apply some type of mathematical uh, derivative that will give us a better forecast into the future of what that cycle is likely to do. And sometimes we're almost right on top of it before we recognize something has contracted or expanded. But having said all that, um, some people get frustrated with that and throw it in the in the trash can and say, I don't have a very, we don't have a very good tool here, but we have a marvelous tool, but we just need to know how to use it. That's my point. Um, um, what I wanna do now is just go back and, and spend a, a moment again looking at this. This is the chart of the 53-day cycle. And as one can see, it expanded a couple of times to about 80 trading days. Um, that cycle, that 53-day cycle and the 80 trading day cycle are the two most dominant cycles on the daily chart and have been for the last several years. They are related by the ratio of three to two or two to three, depending on which one you put in the numerator and the denominator. Uh, I don't think this next iteration is going to expand. I think it's going to come in right on the mark. And, and, and as I showed just a little while ago, I think it's going to come in in the vicinity of the 19th of January, plus or minus. And, and I know the standard deviation uh, of that based on the analysis is about three trading days. What does that mean? It means there is a 68% probability of that cycle low occurring on January 19th within 3.06 trading days. Uh, there is a 95% probability of it occurring within two standard deviations, and there's a 99% probability of it occurring within three standard deviations. And that's the best, that's the best you and I can do from a mathematical perspective. We can't do any better than that. That's pretty good when you stop and think how much data is here and how much is involved in finding these dates. It's really, uh, it's really quite amazing. It's, <laughs> it, it takes a lot of time, a lot of analysis, but it's a labor of love for me. Yeah. For people who want to learn a lot about a lot more about cycles, um, there is an organization that's been around a long time. Uh, it's nonprofit, so I feel I can safely talk about this on TFNN. Um, it's called the Foundation for the Study of Cycles, and. Uh, They've been around for many years. They had a couple of breaks in the action, but uh, a man named yep. Edward Dewey back in the 1940s uh, was commissioned by President Roosevelt to try to understand why the Great Depression occurred. 
and he looked at economic cycles going back thousands and thousands of years. And then he took that analysis and he looked at cycles throughout all of nature, not just human endeavors, but in nature yeah. as well. Um, started an organization, nonprofit organization. It exists today. And I think it, for folks who have an interest, might want to check this organization out. They're going to do a seminar here uh, next week. There's going to be some tremendous talent on there. Robert Prechter, Larry Williams, just to name a couple, and a lot of others that are just exceptionally talented individuals in the area of market cycles and technical analysis. Registration is free, so that might be something my, folks might want to check out. How, how do they get to that website? Just go to the Foundation for the Study of Cycles website? Just go to the Foundation for the Study of Cycles, yes. And there will be some links that they can click on. There's no charge. Um, and I think it's a great place to go for analysts and traders that watch this program to, uh, to learn more about market cycles, not just in the financial field, but throughout many, many different endeavors. Wow. That's really, really great information. Folks, you got to really think about doing that. You've got a whole thing here to look at. It's coming in on the between the uh, January 9th to the 11th, three days next week. That'll be uh, uh, Wednesday, Thursday, uh, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. So I think that uh, you ought to do that. I will be going to that. I will be listening in to see what's going on. Probably. Uh, and look who's there. Stan Harley, right on top of Mr. Prechter and Mr. Williams. You little rascal, you did get the accolades that you deserve, my friend. You know, they were That's, looking for they, they were looking for a filler, and they had to find somebody. Yeah, so right. The filler. I said, on I top. do it. Let me tell you, <laughs> that's a real honor to be in the the same group with those guys. Let me tell you, yeah. that's uh, that's really good yeah, stuff. Yeah, there's some so. very very talented people yeah. that are going to be on that. Well, no, that's really good. Well, listen, I know you're going to be busy, but on the 16th, I've penciled you in, and uh, that'll be on the, the Tuesday, the uh, 16th, and hopefully of January, we will uh, have you back on again if you have the time, okay? I look forward to it, Larry. And, and good luck on your presentation. I hope you win a giant prize or a big trophy or something. Whatever they give you, you deserve it. <laughs> Shucks. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank Stop you. My blushing, pleasure. Stan. Stop blushing. Hey, listen, thanks for joining us, my friend. It's really, really great talking to you, and uh, please keep up the good work. Absolutely. Okay, Stan Harley, folks, of the Harley Stock Market Letter. Here again, I recommend you going to the Foundation for the Study of Cycles website. website. It's January 9th to 11th at 4 p.m. Eastern Time. And then which you can, they'll probably have a couple hours each day, uh, the 9th, 10th, and 11th. You, if you don't like it, it's real simple. You hang up. And if you do like it, you enjoy it, and you don't have to pay anything for it. So that's pretty good. I was involved with the Foundation for the Study of Cycles way back in 1970. And Mr. Dewey's right-hand person was Gertrude Shirk. And I really got a lot of information from her over the years, especially stuff on lunar cycles that I started looking at with Twentyman back in 72 and 73 and 74. So that's what we're paying attention to. Okay, let's get back to a couple of markets that we want to be watching. So stay with me one second, and I will reinstitute the uh, – hold on one second, because there's a couple of them here that I think are very, very important today. Um, all right, don't – just take a deep breath, and you're going to be just fine. LP, just take it easy. Come up here. Get ready to share the screen, and I hit the screen, and that will take me to the screen. And here we go. And this is what I want to show you here. This is the one that you really need to watch, folks. This is the Treasury bond market because this is the one that has got the biggest thing going for it. Okay, this is this market is six, at least six to ten times bigger than the stock market. It's probably many, many times bigger when you consider. Uh, bonds from other countries and stuff like that but just in the u.s this is a huge market okay then you can see here that we did make a low down here at the 61 percent retracement so far the rally back uh oh we're getting a someone's getting ready to ask us a question oh i have it up there it's it's not posted it's got to be posted you're telling me that the chart is not posted let me try it again Shut the front door and raise the rent, boys and girls. Give me a second. I thought I did it right. I went to the screen. I clicked on the screen. It says go live. And if it's live, it must be Memorex. There's where we are. We see the low that we made here in the Treasury bonds. Now we rallied up. But we're going to finish the rally when we get back from our break. So 877-927-6648.
If you're looking for potential trading setups in the stock market, then Rocket Equities and Options Report is a newsletter you should try. Tommy O'Brien delivers options and equity trades when the markets present them using a combination of fundamentals and technicals. Sign up for Rocket Equities and Options Report today with a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com. Educating investors. Are you ready to take your trading to the next level? Introducing Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, your key to successful active trading. Tom O'Brien, renowned for his expertise in the financial markets, has designed Market Insights to be your daily guide to profitable trades. Tom publishes his daily Market Insights newsletter every market day before the market open, along with updates when warranted. Stay ahead of the game with Tom's real-time analysis and trade recommendations delivered straight to your inbox. Whether you're a seasoned trader or just starting out, Market Insights provides the edge you need to navigate the markets with confidence. Ready to join the ranks of successful traders? Head over to TFNN.com and subscribe to Market Insights today. Don't miss out on this opportunity to supercharge your trading results. Market Insights comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee for all new subscribers, so you have nothing to risk. Don't miss out on this opportunity to revolutionize your trading game. Head over to TFNN.com right now to join thousands of traders who have already experienced the power of Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, firsthand. TFNN, educating investors. TFNN has launched the Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Okay, folks, I want to go over the bond chart. Clearly, there's the 27th of December. People have asked me, why does it slope down like this? The reason why that's how the tool is built, folks. What I do is to get the price. It uh, doesn't make any difference. It's going to be the same. You'll see I take the A leg. I just move it over here as opposed to over there so I can see the price swing come down. See, it's going to be exactly the same here, but this gets me to the spot I want to. Now, this one here, you see, if I drew it way over here, it would look really squirrely, right? And I don't like squirrely. So all I do is I draw it from here or here. It doesn't make any difference. That got us to that point. But look where it brought to us, folks. We rallied two handles today and then came down. Look, we've been up two and down three. That's a $3,000 move in Treasury bonds today. Very, very important for two reasons. One is it completes the big ABCD. There's the 61% on the daily right there. You see that? That's the 61% on the daily. So you see how important that is? So this is where the game is being played right now here in uh, the offices of Duke and Duke, 100 South Broad Street, Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. Now, on the pullback today, we came right back down to the 61% retracement, a little bit below it, as you can see here. But that sets up a possibility of an ABCD to the upside, and that would be the first ABCD in a bear market. So you want to be watching that if we get there. 
which is up another handle and a half up there at 123, 24, 25, right there, 123, 24. Watch that number. That's going to be real interesting because that's an ABCD. The other thing to do is to take good care of your neighbors and your friends, folks, because we all live on the same planet, live every day in an attitude of gratitude, and may God bless. And we'll see you on Monday, and our guest will be none other, folks, none other than the wizard himself, Mr. Norm Winsky. We'll be right back. On Monday.